Tent with the guys from Flood. Oh, yeah, you're right. So, how are you enjoying your download? It's been pretty mental so far. Yeah, it's surreal. It's good. It's kind of a bit enjoyable. weird to be here. It hasn't really sunk in yet that we're playing tomorrow. You know, I've been coming here for like, you know, I've been to like the last five just like normally and like coming and seeing behind the scenes and how everything works. It's just a bit surreal, really. Just, it's nice. Yeah, enjoying it. So are you going to do anything before you get on stage tomorrow to prep yourself up ready? Heavy drinking. Heavy drinking. No, no, we don't do that. Um, sleep a lot, rest a lot. Get some water. Have vocal zones. Strep a lot. Yeah, a lot. Do you do uh, fun vocal warm-ups? Uh, we normally do Will Smith, Miami in a big circle. Really? We go on, yeah. The entire song. Yeah. Uh, I can't remember the lyrics. You bought yourself no, into this no, one now, mate. No. You're have to, um, you have to live up to that. I honestly can't remember any of those. You put me in the spot now, I, I, I'm not going to be able to perform. Yeah. It's fine, so um, we've already got some exciting stuff going on. Um, for a start, um, your self-help DVD. Yeah, uh, well, my name's Josh Dunn, in case you didn't know, and it's uh, How to Get Things Done, the, the, the DVD. And uh, it's just about, um, you know, people you know, finding it hard to motivate themselves to do everyday things. So I, I, I get on there, I say a few words. It comes with an audio CD as well that you can listen to in bed to, uh, and, a book, so. and a book. Yeah. So for example, I'm um, a budding novelist. I'm trying to write uh, a story about a goblin that wants to be a uh, writer. Yeah. Um, I've got halfway through the book and I'm just like, oh, it's not going to work. People just aren't into goblins, especially ones that write. It's a, a it's, um, it's, it's, it's how a would you motivate? It is, it's a very niche market. Unfortunately, I can't give away too much at the moment because my publishers were be all on me, but um. PR will be, yeah, we'll be on him like a nasty rash. But, um, His ass is grass and they're a lawnmower. Yeah, it, it, it all will be explained in the DVD. It's uh, out September sometime. So we'll learn all about how to solve that situation and, and many others. Yeah. Also, I believe you're, you're working on new material at the moment. We've got a new album pretty much demoed completely. We just need to get around to actually recording it, finalising it and all of that. But I like it. I love it, to be honest. Um, I don't know. I think there's a sincere lack of like sort of integrity with a lot of modern music, and I think we try and bring that into a, into the new CD. I think it's very honest of, about us, and it's yeah, quite. It's just stuff we we would want to listen to, and stuff we enjoy playing. And I, I hope that shows when like you see the live show and when the album does finally drop. Um, yeah, it's just it's stuff that we we enjoy playing and. I like to think that shows. Yeah, like, I think like you get some bands have like this attitude when they go to write an album, like, oh, I want to sound like this band, or I love this band, let's try and write something like them. And I think like that's cool if you want to do things that way, that's fine, but that's I think that's kind of like trying to sound like someone. So we've taken elements of everything I, I like, everything I listen to, everything each and every one of us like, and tried to put that to a CD. And the end product so far, I'm really happy with, I'm quite proud of it. And like, I don't know, it's kind of weird to think that it's us as well, I don't know. I think because like we've been working on it for like a while, like we've been writing stuff for the album, stuff on the album for like over a year now, yeah, well, yeah a couple of years, so like seeing them all come together and like, it's good, like we got songs we wrote like two years ago. Yeah, now, like it we seems, said, so. it, it's strange that it's finally done. Almost, yeah. Almost. No expected release date for this year? No. Uh, um, I would like to say... A release date. I would like to this say this. Hopefully, 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 hopefully before hopefully. we go on tour in September, that'd be nice to get it out before then. But realistically, maybe more towards the end of the year. But yeah, I mean, it's down to whoever wants to pick up, whoever likes it. You know, we have, we'll have to send it out and see how it goes from there. So we can't. I don't want to rush it. Basically, I think that's that's key. Well, until then, you've got uh, Sonosphere to look forward to. You've got Sonosphere, yeah. Tea in the Park. Heavy Fest. Heavy Fest, Underage Festival. Underage. Yeah. It's, we, got, it's kind of a bit surreal thinking like playing on the same lineup as like Metallica and stuff, it's just absolutely crazy. Like finding it hard to kind of comprehend that kind of thing, like, it's ridiculous. But you know like the Dillinger Escape Plan, we were playing with them, they're like amazing man, yeah, they're one of my favourite bands. 
awesome. Yeah, yeah, so 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 tight, so good. But that's that's my benchmark. Like, I think a lot of people have like a benchmark when they know that their band's made it or they they're happy at what they've done. And I think playing with Dillinger, like we played event in Shikari in, in, in Xmas, the Xmas Christmas. That was one of my goals and then Dillinger will smash that, like easily yeah. smash that. So I, I could die happy then. So after this you can just quit the band, done. Done, that's it. Or become a baker. Game over, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll pursue my career in writing self-help so DVDs. <laughs> yeah. we'll, we'll be fine. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Now I've got to ask, um, your shirt is brilliant. Oh yes. <laughs> this is like, this is one of the greatest days of my life. I've had so many compliments on my shirt. but um. Is one you bought from home or did you get it here? I know. Boy, it is a joke. No, I kind of brought it thinking, all right, uh, I, I think they're going to make a comeback to my shirts personally, but um, as for eight pounds, absolutely still, I couldn't. Like, I'm not going to lie, I actually quite like it. <laughs> I think every, it was one of those things I brought it, oh, it'd be a bit of a laugh, a bit of banter, but um, turned into, I think everyone's going to buy it. You actually like, yeah. had people stop him and compliment yeah. him on it as well. It's kind of weird. You a nice summer vibe to the festival, yeah, which well, is what I liked. At the I mean, moment I saw you, I was like, I feel like it's summer. There you go. I'll be that guy with the Larry shirt. I mean, like the sun shines a bit on off at the moment, but I like to think I'm. He's repping that all year round. Fight, fighting come. a good fight with this one. Yeah. Beam of light in what could be a cloudy, rainy day. I like it. I like it. Yeah. It's a good metaphor. <laughs> so, um, any other message you want to send out to your fans, or any um, anything else you need to plug? We are going on tour in July with a band called A World Defined and a band called Lichway. Um, they're both sick, so check them out. And we are going on tour after that with Akoda, who are playing here as well. Yeah, yeah, awesome, awesome dudes. Play, play some sick music. Um, and that's in September. And that's like, we're probably going to go for that one. Like, that's going to be awesome, awesome tour. Um, and other than that, man, I think like most of the stuff we're having to keep on the DL. <laughs> Can I give us any little, little secrets? Road. I wish uh, we had secrets yeah. to tell you. Yeah, yeah exactly. We, we could make some outlandish lies up to tell you if it. Alice Cooper asked us to go on tour with him. That's quite good. You ain't got any little secrets about uh, band members that aren't here that you might want to just reveal and then they can get really annoyed when they see us? Nah, they'll yell at me. Yeah, they'll just I'll, yell at I'll, me. I'll, get shouted at. I'll, I'll, I'll be honest, I'm normally the one that gets the uh, short end of the yeah. straw all you know, the time. I'll put so. this out there just for while they're watching. I have a gay trilby hat. Yeah. Uh, what else have I done? Too many to list off the top of my head. Lists, yeah, mention the Trilby. On tour, nearly started crying because they were making fun of my Trilby hat. Do you like Trilbys? I like Trilbys. They're yeah. back to the old kind of Scar era. Yeah. Can't go wrong with a good Trilby. I thought, yeah, I thought it was a nice Trilby. Was, like, I can't see the problem personally. It was, it was nice on the. You 100%. It, it was nice on the shelf, and then uh, and then he picked it up and put it on his head. That was the a rest of really. history. <laughs> so, is it more the Trilby's fault, or have you just got a weird shaped head? Well, I thought I looked good. I said I know why you wouldn't have brought it really, but 